Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about how much commission do Disney travel agents really make? So if you've always had a passion for Disney, if you've been thinking about becoming a Disney travel agent, if you already share all of your tips and advice with family and friends, this might be a sign that you are ready to become a Disney travel agent. But before you jump in, let's really talk about how much they get paid. Is it worth your investment in time and money of starting this new business? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but that's what we're going to be discussing on today's show. So if you want to learn exactly how much Disney travel agents really make, if you want to learn if this is a right fit for you, if you want to learn if you dive in, how would I make it the most profitable, then keep on watching. We're going to be covering all of that today. Hey guys, one more thing before I forget, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell here on YouTube because this is part of a four part series. So I wanna make sure you get all of these videos. This whole month we're talking about Disney and I wanna make sure you get that. So don't forget to take that quick step. And by the way, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cindy Williams. I have been in the travel industry for over 25 years. I started way back in the 90s. I own my own brick and mortar award winning travel agency. And I'm also the CEO of Cruise and Vacation, which helps people launch, grow, and supersize their travel businesses all over the world. So with that said, you know everything there is to know about me. Let's dive into this week's content. So first on the list is exactly how much do Disney travel agents get paid? The commission structure with Disney is pretty straightforward. For most of their vacations, especially if you're a new travel agent, you're going to start out at 10%. That means if you book a $5,000 vacation, if you're an independently registered with them, you're going to make $500 once the person travels. That's the other thing that you want to remember as you're starting with your business is it takes a little ramp up time because if you're selling vacations right now, people may be traveling a month from now or six months from now. Your pay actually comes in after travel. So that's an important thing to recognize. Now, if you're selling Disney cruises, dependent on the volume of sales that you do on an annual basis, you can actually earn all all the way up to 15, 16%. So based on your volume that you're doing, you can see an increase on the cruise portion for Disney. So keep that in mind as you're growing your agency. Now, a big note to consider is as you are growing, as you are booking, dependent on how you are set up, you may have to share a portion of that commission. What do I mean by that? Last week we talked about how to set up as an independent travel agent directly with Disney. If you do that, you're going to earn 100% of your commissions. However, a lot of new people do a process that's called hosting, which means they're working with a Disney travel agency or they have uh, an agency or a host that they're working with. Now this video is not getting into hosting. That would be a whole like other video, but the good news is I have a free masterclass that you can take that will totally help you make that decision based on your personal goals. So you can head over to careersonvacation.com forward slash masterclass and I really walk you through the pros and cons of the different startups and this is not just for Disney travel agents, it's for any type of travel agent. So it helps you understand what options you have and there are a lot to get into the industry, which one might be best for you and really dives into the pros and cons so you can make a great decision. So head over there and grab that masterclass and I'll put the link below too. But for right now, what I'm focusing on is just the straight commission, right? Let's assume you're set up independently and you're earning 100%, which in my eyes is ideal, right? And what, so what would you guys do? Let me just ask a quick question. What would you do with an extra, let's say $2,000 a month, which I feel is very doable. That's basically three or four vacations traveling every month and then you earning the commission from it. I wanna know, cause I really, I'm a big believer and you should know your why of getting into this. So tell me in comments below, what would you do with that extra 2K a month. So tell me below and I'm gonna go back and look later. I love to learn why people are thinking to get it, thinking about getting into the industry and uh, I'll put mine down there in comments too. But let's go through some of the math. This will really help you guys understand, um, is it for me, is it not for me, is it worth my time in investment and uh, deciding to kind of move forward on this adventure. So in order to, like at Cruise on Vacation, we specialize on, on helping people get to that 
six figure uh, mark, right? Those people that wanna get out of hobby stage and into real robust business. So I wanna use a big example to give you that and then of course we can take it down from there. Nothing wrong with starting with a hobby by the way, if that's what you wanna start it as a side income and maybe transition it to full time. No one's putting you on a timeline. You can totally do that. I have clients that do that all the time. Um, but let's do some math on it so you can kind of really feel what the impact would, would be like. Well, you'd have to sell about a million dollars in sales. That, mu that number feels really big, but let's break that down for a second. So if your average sale is around $5,500 a sale, so of course some of them are gonna be, you know, value, but some of them are gonna be at the Grand Floridian. So, but let's say they average around 5,500 and um, what, how many trips would that be a month? That would mean you have to have about 15 trips clearing every single month, 15 families traveling. So in terms of the ramp up period for sales and then having them clear, that's what would it, ta what it would take to really have that big business. Now slice that in half, you still make 50K, slash that in a quarter, you're, you're above that 2K mark that we just talked about with having that goal, right? So do you guys see how this is very doable? Now keep in mind, we're gonna talk about marketing in a second because you can't just depend on friends and family vacations because that really is like hobby, hobby, hobby. But if you're doing a little bit of marketing and getting clients to book through your agency, that's how you can get that five trips a month and 10 trips a month and then 20 trips a month. And that's how it can kind of grow over time. Now, big disclaimer here, or a big side note is, if you are doing that process that we refer to as hosting in the industry, again, check out the masterclass, you can understand, understand fully what hosting is, you would have to share a portion of those profits with your host, right? A host says, and you know, if you wanna use my credentials, you have to pay me 20%, 30%, 40%, I've even seen as high as 50 and 60%, which by the way, I think is ridiculous, but that's a, that's a topic for another day. But if that, uh, you'd have to basically sell that much more if you're with a host to hit that six figure mark, dependent on what your agreed upon commission split is. So again, go to the, the masterclass and we'll kind of dive into that a little deeper because the setup will determine your, your, your net earnings, okay? So what are some other things some other ways that you can monetize your business or make sure that you're making the most from every single sale at Disney. Well, I have some great hacks for you from uh, top agencies that I work with that they've hired with me to teach them, you know, how to really monetize their agency. A few things that you can do to earn extra income right away are start charging planning fees. That's something that you can earn from day one. So even if you are a new agency, getting a little money into your pocket as you're waiting for them to travel is really key. And there are a lot of agents if you position yourself properly if you are an expert at Disney you can charge a planning fee another way that you can kind of optimize your ticket sales is universal add-on packages so I know this series is all about how to become a Disney travel agent but it's hard to do Disney without also adding in Universal because they're in Orlando the kids get older and they're going to want to start to add on Universal I don't know about you, I have two 10 year olds and a 14 year old and they're like, okay, we're going to Disney, that's great, but how many days are we going to Universal? They are graduating from Disney and it's breaking my heart. But every time we go now, we have to do a Universal add-on. Your clients are gonna have that same request over time and if you know how to introduce it properly into your sales process, you may be able to do those add-ons as you go, okay? Um, another thing is concierge fees, doing things like fast passes and dining Dining, you can actually charge a fee for doing those additional services. Doing fast passes and dining, Disney doesn't pay you for that. And that's something that the client is supposed to do themselves. So what a lot of agencies will do is they will offer that as an extra fee and manage that process for their clients. So that will help as well. The other thing to consider too is, and maybe you don't know this, but Disney does an amazing job of giving us great discounts. If you go through their training program, which we're gonna talk about next week, once you graduate, you will get access to discounts. We, we travel on club level at Disney every year for about 50% off. We've stayed at the, the Grand Californian, we've stayed at the Grand Floridian, we've stayed at the Polynesian club level, all of those have been 
insane and we get half off and you get to stay it's the greatest but it's not just club level it's regular rooms too you could stay at a value property and get 50 percent off and go very affordably so if you're thinking should i get into this just for the discounts honestly there's a lot of people that do that um, so that is an option for you if that's something that you're thinking about. They also give you discounts on your tickets, so you can get half off a pass or you can just get a one day free ticket for Disney as well to the park of your choosing. So Disney does a great job. They also do educational events where you can register and they will drive you around to the different properties. So lots of cool perks, you guys, to think about. If you're a Disney nerd, it's like, oh my gosh, yes, sign me up, right? So if you're thinking that you would love to do this before you get super excited I want to give you like the pros and cons there's if you want to be successful as a Disney agent if you want to make some income that's really gonna make an impact to your family and life there's still some things you need to prepare to do whether you do them on your own or you hire someone to teach you or you go through a program or something like that there's some things you need to know how to do well to do the best job that you can do one is, do you know how to be an actual travel agent? <laughs> like, trust me, there's a lot of steps to that. Disney's not going to teach you. So you have to sign up for how am I going to learn to be a, a travel agent? The second is, how do I attract ideal clients, right? Doing the friends and family is great, but how do I get clients every single month that are booking so you can get that five trips and that 10 trips and that 15 trips, right? Where it's like, oh, now I hit it, right? How are you going to get those clients if you, if you don't know how to market and if you don't know how to operate in the online space? So learning how to market is something you really have to commit to and learning how to operate a business in the online space. That is really what you are doing as a travel agent in today's environment. It's your responsibility to learn those no matter what setup you pick, right? It doesn't matter if you work for an agency or you work for yourself. You are come, even if you work for an agency, how are the models work in the, the travel industry is they set you up as an I-9 contractor. That means you're in a contract position with them nine times out of 10. There's a few that do employees, but they're very, very rare. Um, so when you're set up as a contractor, you're expected to go find your own clients to build your business under their umbrella business. So you guys have to sign up for those, commit to it. If you do those things though, it can be amazing and you really, that's the fastest path to turning your passion into profits is take that holistic approach to the things that you're doing, okay? So if you guys are like, yes, I wanna learn the, not just the Disney stuff, but how to do all the things you just said, Cindy, really consider applying for our Careers on Vacation program. You can go to careersonvacation.com forward slash ready now. That's my, my uh, award-winning travel agency. We test everything that we actually train in that program. You get access to my staff of experts. We are an ASTA affiliated travel school. So everything that you learn in the program will teach you how you can operate at the highest levels for your agency immediately. Set yourself up. Do yourself the favor of setting yourself up the right way from the beginning. By the way, whether you are brand new or you've been a Disney agent for 10 years, but maybe your sales aren't where they want to be, we have two learning tracks, one for brand new people and one for people who are experienced. So we can help you no matter what. So definitely consider that. That's really amazing. And by the way, check out, you're already on YouTube, check out our 80 plus video case studies of all the success stories we're having coming out of the Careers on Vacation program. Check those out too. And and guys, thank you for showing up for the show today. I hope this was valuable information. I hope you get to find out. I mean, you're happy to find out exactly how, what travel, what Disney travel agents make, if that's a fit for you, and can help you really make some decisions on if you want to move forward on this. And guys, just a last reminder, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. We have a couple more uh, training sessions coming out this month on this same topic if you're still in that consideration phase to help you. And no matter what, I wish you so much love, so much abundance. I wish you the world. I'll see you next time. here if you like that last video make sure you check out my other content to help you grow and scale your very own travel business and also I invite you to travel around the world with me and find out what I'm doing in my portable profitable award-winning travel business check out the videos